Focus test. It's working. Okay, what's going on everyone? I know I haven't put out one of these videos in quite some time, but I've been busy with my Instagram stuff, shameless self-promotion. Anyway, uh, a lot of people really liked the video I did with iMovie and QuickTime to make vertical videos for your IGTV or Instagram stories. So I just wanted to give another quick update about using iMovie with Keynote to make a square video. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm just working on a video here in iMovie. This really isn't about making the video. This is just me throwing some clips in here for an example. I just want to mention right off the bat that yes, of course you could take this video and you could just imagine how it might square crop or if you export it into Instagram and press those two little arrows in the bottom left hand corner, it will square crop. So this is just for people who want to visualize it ahead of time. Okay, so I just added the audio track and I'm ready to export this out of here. So I just go my media here projects and just give it any name here square video. Okay, so now we'll take this and we're going to export the video. Just do a file. Now I'm just going to put it on pretty low resolution so you don't have to sit here waiting forever for me to export this. But of course you probably want to add it to 1080 or 4K or whatever video you have or whatever resolution you think is going to work best for you. Okay, so we'll just export this, give it a name, put it somewhere where you'll find it. I always end up putting it somewhere where I never find it. And I'll just speed this up to make it look like my computer's super fast, which it isn't. And okay, so now I'm going to open up Keynote. I'm just going to pick a white document, get rid of this. Now you'll notice right away that this Keynote, okay, I'll just make this a little bit bigger for you. Now you notice right away that this Keynote isn't square. So we can go, we can fix that by going up into this document here. Just close that document and right there. You can go to custom document size. And we can set this to whatever we want. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is in pixels or points or how that is, but I'm just gonna set it to be 1080 by 1080. Whoops, 1080 by 1080, there we go, okay. Now all you have to do is ex or import your file into here. Okay, just get this the right size. Okay, find the file that you just exported from iMovie. There it is. Drag it in. Place it just like that. Now it's just like any document, all I gotta do is adjust it like that. Pull it out. Now this is the part where Keynote, this is how you export it. You can see it's playing, everything's fine. Okay, just go up here, file, export, and where is it? There it is, movie. Okay, I'll just leave it here. Again, you have the choice, your resolution that you want. I'm just gonna leave it for this, just for simplicity's sake. And again, you're going to put this somewhere where you can find it. Give it a name, a location, all the regular stuff when you're dealing with files. There we go. I'll speed this up to again to make it look like my computer's fast. And there you'll have it. The exported one. You can check it out. A little preview. Now it's a square video. And you'll see exactly what it'll look like when you import it into Instagram. And if you're working on a MacBook, just airdrop it to yourself. It'll be on your phone and ready to post on your already previewed square crop on Instagram. All right, that's all I got for you. Remember, if you like this video, you gotta like it, you gotta comment on the video, you gotta subscribe to my channel, you gotta find me on Instagram and follow me, you gotta find me on Facebook and follow me, you gotta find me on Twitter and follow me. Just do everything, follow me everywhere. Know exactly what I'm doing at any moment of the day.